Learning to skive leather is a great skill to have in leather work. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you slanted skive, which is going to be a great help for you as a beginner leather worker. So let's begin this video. The reason you will skive leather is primarily to reduce the thickness of the leather edges. This will make your leather projects look more streamlined. Skiving can also be used for splicing two pieces of leather together, creating turned edges, and also tapering down leather cord, which is primarily used in bag handles. So it's a great skill to have learning to skive. If you do want to learn more about leather tools, I have created a course, Beginner Tools in Leatherwork, on my website, First Class Leathercraft. So be sure to have a look at that. So I have two skiving knives and one paring knife. The knife that I prefer to use for skiving is the paring knife. So there are some reasons for that. The angle blade makes it easier to use. I found it quicker to use and learn with compared to a straight blade skiving knife. The paring knife is not restricted by a wooden handle. This means you can skive really thin without having the handle to obstruct the angle of the skive. If you have a skiving knife with a handle, you can simply just hang the handle off the edge of the marble slab, depending on how thick it is, and you can skive like that. Because there's no wooden handle on the paring knife, you can skive longer distances. The paring knife is effective in both slanted skives and also step down skives as well. Some things to be wary of. Be careful of where you place your fingers because you don't want to be risking an injury. Also, make sure that your blade is super razor sharp. As the saying goes, a sharp blade is a safe blade. So you want to make sure that your, your paring knife is extremely sharp as this will skive the leather much more easier by trying to force a cut with a blunt knife. So with that, let's begin the tutorial. The first skive we're going to practice is going to be a small five millimeter skive. In regards to holding the blade, it's whichever way feels comfortable for you. You can either have two fingers on the top or you can have one finger on the top. It's really up to you. But this So to start off with, you just want to have your blade straight as you trace that line. Now it's important when you're learning to skive just to take it quite slow and steady just so that you can start to feel how the leather cuts, how it acts against the blade. And then as you get more confident over time, you can get these skives a lot more quicker. As you can see, the blade is now slightly angled and that will cut through the leather quite easy. And there we have a slanted skive. You can always just polish this up a bit. So if it hasn't, if there hasn't been too, if it hasn't skived too much on the sides, you can always just go back and tidy it up a bit. Second technique is if you are more skilled in your skiving, you can try this technique. So what we're going to do is instead of going and skive and then going back again, we're going to do this skive in one go. So what you want to do is have your blade angled and what you want to do is you're trying to grab a piece of leather you're trying to grab just up to that line and once you've got that far you can simply push along the knife And then with the end, you can just simply, you can simply just skive that away. And what you'll have is you'll have a nice angle good skive. And if you need to tidy it up a bit, you can always just go back and, and if you need to get some pieces that weren't skived. You don't want to be using your blade too far. If you're pushing with your blade, what you'll notice is that you'll start to cut more leather so once you've found the length that you want you can simply just push along with the blade this is a really quick way to skive pieces of leather so as you can see you can get a really nice 
slanted scythe line to one centimeter we want to make sure that the angle is not too sharp the first thing to do is to follow that line So to make to cut the leather, you simply angle the blade like this, and then you'll start to cut. You want to make sure that your blade is completely flat. So then you can get a nice consistent scythe. And then to tidy up the leather, you can just simply So there is a nice angled scythe. So as you get more proficient in your skiving, it'll be a lot more quicker to do. And you won't need to use a line to guide. And you can angle the blade. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure in the comments, let me know how you found this video and if it's helped you in your skiving. Thank you.